let's talk to Brooke Shields, who was controversial in her own right back in the day. Brooke has a new memoir. I'm reading it right now, and let me tell you, she goes there. She spills the beans about her tumultuous relationship with her mother and her controversial childhood. Mm -hmm. Something happened where I was so uh, gazed upon and identified with, you know, the neck up or, you know, for years and years in covers and, and so labeled as something. It had a tendency to make me just want to close my eyes to it. Here are the issues Brooke is putting out there. Being over controlled for everything from her sexy too young image to when she lost her virginity. And for loving slash hating her alcoholic stage mom who drove her crazy and drove her to be better. If you are a child of an alcoholic, it defines you to a certain extent. So there's extreme highs and lows and my mom's alcoholism was a battle that she never won. Brooke's People Magazine cover story is the first in her media blitz as she promotes her new book, There Was a Little Girl. Inside, she tells the truth behind her relationships with many Hollywood men. Like, did you know that her dates with Scott Bayo and John Travolta were mostly for show? In fact, look at what she told us back in 1981. Are you dating John Travolta? Oh, yeah, I've seen, I've been seeing him and I'm seeing, I still, he's a good friend, really. She did lose her virginity to Dean Cain. There's a very memorable scene in the book where she jumps out of bed and runs uh, buck naked down the hallway, uh, confused and emotional, and he runs after her with a comforter and tries to comfort her. Brooke Shields had a complicated relationship with Andre Agassi. She was filming an episode of Friends where she played a crazed fan obsessed with Joey, and she was licking Joey's hand. Andre was there watching and he stormed off the set, drove all the way to Vegas where he smashed his trophies uh, because he was in a jealous rage. But at the heart of this story is Brooke finally reconciling that mother-daughter bond two years after her mom died from a dementia-related illness. She has me as a daughter first before, you know, an actress or whatever. When she thought of where should I keep my mother's ashes, uh, she bought a beautiful urn and she thought, you know what, I'm going to put her on my marble top bar uh, where she can be close uh, to the two things she loved most, me and booze.